Hey, welcome back to my KMK numpad series. If you're new here, I would recommend starting with the first few videos in this series just to get familiarized with KMK. There's going to be some stuff I assume you know from those videos, and I'm not going to cover it here. But once you do that, make sure to come back here and let's keep going. So this should work for any KMK powered numpad or keyboard or anything like that. Make sure to check out the KMK documentation for this. Um, and this also brings us to an important point. KMK doesn't call these macros, even though I would call them a macro and I think most people would call them macros. They're calling anything where you send a group of keys a sequence. So just keep that in mind. It, it's just part of the naming convention that we'll use in this code. So uh, make sure to check out that documentation because it has some more examples that are out of my skill set, but some of you may be more interested in learning about them. So to start off, we're going to send a simple string, um, some text. This could be something from like Hello World to a paragraph to a long form novel. I am going to just cut you off at the pass here. Do not put any passwords in plain text in your keyboard. Don't do it. It's just it's just bad. Just a, just a bad idea. Don't do that. But now let's go ahead and get started. So so like with most of the other videos in this series, we're going to import something and then we're going to work with it. So the first thing we need to do is import from KMK. Um, we're going to import a handler. So dot handlers dot sequences import send string. And this is going to allow us to send simple strings. I'm going to go down here and I'll move it up so it's more in the middle of the screen for you guys. Uh, we're going to create a or I'm going to create a macros section of my code just to keep everything organized. I'm going to put all my macros here. Um, and now I'm going to create my macro. I'm going to call this email because this is going to be some text that you send when people don't read your emails. Um, and one thing to know here is I am putting a comma and a space at the end just because I'm typing all this out. I don't want to have to start typing and then hit space and then carry on with my thoughts. So this is just a simple send string per my last email. This can be any string. So text, you can put numbers in here, you can put um, punctuation in here, obviously, because I have a comma. Um, but this will send all of this code or all of this text at once. Um, and instead of trying to jam my macros into my existing layers, what I'm going to do is going to just create a new layer. This will be where my macros live. And now what I can do is I can just put this here, email, um, control S, reload my code down here. Um, and then I'm going to pop open notepad. And then I'm going to hit my layer shift key and then my macro key. There we go. Um, we get that text out. And you'll just have to trust me on this. But if I press it a bunch of times, you can see I can ju I, it just puts it, a, it just puts the text in there. So that is the simple string option. As the name suggests, it sends a simple string. Um, so now I want to actually have a keyboard shortcut with a modifier, something like Control, Shift, Alt. Um, I am going to import something else. So from, and would it surprise you to learn it's from the same uh, library, so handlers dot sequences import uh, and this is going to be a simple key sequence um, these are a little bit more finicky to set up in order to set up a simple key sequence um, i'm just going to do the save command because that's a simple one and i think it will illustrate the idea and then you can modify and run with it so i'm going to basically do the same thing i did before where i'm going to create a just a key code that i'm going to use it's going to be simple key sequence I'm going to put one parenthesis. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit another parenthesis. This format is important. I don't know why, but if you don't do it this way, it doesn't work. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I've learned. Um, and now I'm going to put in the keys I want to send. So in order to hit control save, I need to do, or control S for save, I need to do key KC dot left CTL for control, a parenthesis, and then KC dot S for the letter S. Then on the outside of that parenthesis, you need a comma. So if you don't have the comma, it doesn't work. So with my key sequence done, now what I need to do is go down and actually 
add it to my layout. So save, put another space in there, just keep everything lined up. Now hit on my keyboard, control S to save everything. Wait for the code to reload down here. Open up notepad, hit my layer shift key, hit control S and we can test. And then we'll just go ahead and hit save. Now that what this will do is we'll just create save. It'll just save the document. When you have to press the layer shift key and then another key, um, it doesn't actually save you any keystrokes, but I hope you get the idea. And let's go ahead and actually add a bit more of a complex one now so you get the idea of how that would be structured as well. And to do that, I'm going to use save as. I love every program that uses control shift S as the default save as function. So shout out to SolidWorks, shout out to AutoCAD, shout out to Notepad, Notepad++. Um, those are just a few I know of, um, but that's what I'm going to add next. So let me open up my reference document. And this is going to be very similar to the save command. So casey dot uh, left CTL left control parenthesis KC, and then we have to hit shift. So RSF T right shift, and then KC dot S the left and right is not important here. You just have to de designate one of them. Um, so we'll put our control S two parentheses, and then a comma. Basically what this parenthesis structure does is it is like first you hit control then while holding control, you hit shift and while holding shift, you press S and then it releases all of them. So that's kind of the structure of how this works. You could do this for like control alt I if you wanted that. Now with the save as command, I'm going to go down here to my layer, save as line those back up. And now I'm going to hit on my numpad. I'm going to hit my layer shift key and not that one or on my numpad, I'm gonna hit my layer shift key and then I'm gonna hit the save command. We'll wait for the code down at the bottom to reload. Um, and now if we pop over to notepad, let's put some more numbers in here. Oh, this document's really important. I need to save it in a separate place for my other documents. So layer shift key, save as, um, test one. And now we have two documents. This, these are, both, I think, pretty simple examples, but I hope this shows you how you can add these key sequences and how you can kind of play around with them to get some more functionality out of them. Okay, so I recorded the majority of this video like four weeks ago, and I decided I wanted to add something else because I got really into Cookie Clicker and wanted an auto clicker and discovered that KMK had a feature that lets you auto click, and it's really easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quick too. First, we have to import something. So from kmk.modules rapid fire import rapid fire kmk calls this rapid fire i have no idea about qmk or zmk or any of the other ones um, but once we've imported that up at the top we have to append it to our keyboard so keyboard dot uh, modules dot append uh, rapid fire you do need the caps here because it has uh, caps up here so camel case Right there, right there. Append it to the keyboard. We should be ready to use it. This gives us access to a singular key code, um, which lets us rapid fire or auto clicker or whatever you want to call it. Um, I am going to add it down here in my macros. And I'm going to do left click because um, Cookie Clicker uses left click to make more cookies. So I'm going to add this as. Uh, LMB for left mouse button, spam. And we are going to call uh, this equals a KC.RF. And our RF is going to be KC.MB uh, for mouse button, which we've already appended up top. Um, LMB, left mouse button. And then we can add some other things to this to make it function. Um, we're going to add a timeout and be aware this is not a timeout for how long you press the key and then it stops sending it. It is how long you have to hold down the key before it starts sending the key. Um, I do 10, you can do zero and it'll happen immediately. The default is 
a hundred, so a tenth of a second. Um, and then the other option I want to do is the interval. This is how fast it sends the key code. I'm going to set it at 100 milliseconds, so that's 10 times per second. Um, you can set this to be a toggle, so you would just tell it toggle true. Um, you can also have some randomizations to your intervals, but I'm using it in cookie clicker, not an MMO, so I don't think anyone cares. Um, but now we actually have to add that key code to our key matrix. So I'm going to add it in the top uh, right so that I can just press the two buttons right next to each other. And I am going to add LMB underscore spam. I'm going to hit control S and I've got a uh, clicked speed test right up here. Let's go ahead and test it out. This is again, it should be about 10. And if we watch it go, this is five seconds. Bada bing, bada boom, 10.2. You, I didn't see this, but off screen, I ran a couple others. That's about the same time that I always get, 10.2. Um, um, let's go ahead and make one more change to our code. Let's change this from 10, 100 to 10. Um, the documentation, as well as some testing that I've done, 10 is about the minimum that the computer can recognize. You won't actually get 100 clicks per second, as you'll see here in a second, but and you go lower than 10 and it just kind of breaks and it's not like it breaks breaks it's just like it doesn't work um so let's go back over to our clicker let's restart and let's go again and you can see it's going up quite, quite a bit faster and there we go 62.8 clicks per second uh as i was saying you don't quite get 100 clicks per second 62 is super fast um so now we can dominate at Cookie Clicker. Thanks for watching. I'll be here with my cookies. Bye.